Hello guys, it is Millsby, and I wouldn't usually make a video of my voice, but because um, the update just came out for me, and about my nans, I'm having to use a really bad microphone, so I apologise for the bad audio quality. But the new update has a new feature called the skills, like syn what, sync energy, syn energies, syn energies, yes. And it gives a bonus to everything else, so... I'm only going through this now because it's a very new feature um, and it was actually quite confusing at first until I like looked at this like what Blue was saying and read through but I think I'm going to make this video because I want to help people who are also a bit confused. Let's look at the basic skill tree. When you unlock double claw it will bonus, it will add like a damage increase to overhead triple claw for example which is selected here and once you unlock overhead triple claw you get a bonus for lifesteal from it so you get a 30% extra damage this then leads to the vampiric overhead claw which means it gets a bonus from double claw lifesteal and overhead triple claw so which is crazy actually and it's really good because when you max a level of a skill, you then have something else to do. You then go back and max all the other like younger baby skills that you had beforehand to make it as strong as it possibly can be. So basically you have a base skill, you unlock it and upgrade it and that in turn will then boost the next skill and that skill will boost that next skill and so on. This is exactly the same for the auras. Um, Critical boost gets a boost from speed boost. Then damage boost gets a boost from critical boost. Battle orders gets a boost from critical boost and a cooldown like rigid reduction from damage boost, which is quite good because it's very, very, very long cooldown. 85 seconds is ridiculous. I'd like to point out as well that rage, much like the uh, vampiric overhead claw, gets three of the skills bonusing it. So you've got critical boost, damage boost, and battle orders that boost this skill. Special is exactly the same. The special skill tree works the exact same way. So you have Meteor being boosted by Fire Nova, then Fire Breath being boosted by Meteors, and then Fire Ring being boosted by all three. With totems, it is a little different, so all the traps add together to get like an extra boost, rather than it just being one and then the next one and the next one. It's all of them together. Swamp is bonus by roots. Roots is bonus by swamps, and then the heal totem is boosted by both shield and the roots, and then the shield totem is just boosted by life generation, and it reduces the cooldown, which is pretty good because again the cooldowns long as well and if we go back to what blue posted this kind of gives you a quick breakdown of the basic skill tree so as you can see double claw boosts overhead triple claw which in turn boosts life steal which in turn boosts vampiric claw and all three of those boost the vampiric overhead claw so it's, it is good because i remember first starting out my account and um, only unlocking skills that I've never really used. I don't know why I did, but I think it was just a spur of the moment, you know. You just, you just start unlocking and upgrading random skills. You see, I, seemed to, I seemed to do that quite a lot when I was a pup. <laughs> I say when I was a pup, when I had like a very small account. But now that's actually going to bonus and benefit me, because now it will have an like, overall effect on my bigger, school, my bigger skills, which is really good. I like it. I think it's quite a nice feature because it gives you something to strive for once you've maxed a skill. Because if I max life steal, I'm not just finished because I can quite easily go back and then max overhead triple claw and double claw and that way I get the ultimate boost on life steal. And then if I wanted to, I could then move on to the vampiric overhead claw. So it's good, it means that people won't be asking for refunds and gems because now that your skills that you've wasted your gems on actually have a worth then you'll be able to get stronger and it'll, it'll just be much much better so i really do like this feature and it is it makes sense 
Although I have to say, because of the boost that it's got, it's increased my CP. So now my combat power has gone from 4 million to 6 million, which is ridiculous. And I think I was like ranked 250 in the UK for my area. And now I'm 194. <laughs> it's changed so much. And I don't really... Oh, I don't know if I like it because I liked being in the six, like the two to six million CP room. But now I'm going to be in the six to 15 million and I don't want to be there. <laughs> no. Oh, because I know where my friends got jumped, I think 500,000 combat power. But I got jumped by two million. Oh, I'm not looking forward to the rooms I'm going to start joining. <laughs> anyway, have a nice day. I'm going to have another video posted out soon. Love you. Bye.